Let's send it on to the other ones. <laughs> oh, let me pull it up in the background. Got to boost those numbers. Yep. Yeah. All right. So welcome everybody who has been just you know waiting in the just, wings, you know, just sitting there watching, the wings, channel, just sitting waiting, there watching this channel, waiting, watching this channel, waiting, 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 watching this channel, waiting, 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 watching uh, this channel, uh, waiting, 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 watching uh, this channel. Uh, waiting, massive hosting feedback. That was, that was terrifying. Um, yeah, he, we are here to watch yet another Play vs. Cup game. Uh, guest hosting from all over the country once again. Um, welcome to two casters. You've seen English teacher before in a Griffins game, but we have a new special guest. Saitama could be Goku is here with us today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and we've got a we've got a fun one coming. So, you know, we'll just keep acting like we've got uh, some viewers, and we'll chat to the to the nothing until they show up. But it's all gonna be fun. And here they're loading into the game itself. Um, so we might be getting started relatively soon. What are y'all looking for in this one? To be honest, I'm looking to learn something. <laughs> I think we all are. I mean, on one field. I'm gonna be. We're gonna be able to learn quite a few things here. Maybe we'll be able to actually help them out just from a third-person perspective. Yeah, I think that was. Uh, we were all talking about that a little bit before the game started. Um, and looking over this, um, who some of these players are, I noticed that not only do we have do we have a few SSLs here, uh, but one of them uh, also apparently plays on a semi a semi pro team. Did not know that. So that, that is true. He's on a, an amateur team. Very, very cool. Um, I think that's always the most fun thing to watch in games like this is um, just, you see this in League of Legends all the time too, is we have great players. Can they take how good they are mechanically at the game and translate that into um, competitive success? And I don't know. I feel like being on that semi-pro team really helps give um, Edmund Memorial High School a really, really good leg up here. But I'm, I'm interested to see how that turns out. Yeah, I mean they've got they they will be the player in theory with the most competitive experience, which mentally, you know, we're talking best of sevens, that mental stamina, they're the ones on this field who've probably felt it the longest. So uh, at the same time, Sayatama, <laughs> you have some competitive experience yourself. So how's that feel? Uh, you knowing that this is a pretty high high level, a lot of a lot of things are on the line. Like what what would you say to to a team that's getting ready to play in a tournament like this for a national a national level uh, recognition? I would say having the experience playing on a semi-pro team definitely helps with the team plays, which in a tournament where you're playing with people you're familiar with, that is the most game-changing aspect. If he can bring that team playability and be able to play that same way with his teammates in this tournament, there's going to be no chance for the other team. Which is a bold statement because there's two SSLs on the other team. So it's going to be... I mean, it's just going to be a lot of airtime, um, a lot of really clean moves, I feel like. Oh, the other thing to note from the previous game is a lot of demos. So um, I was with Pete last time, and it was just Demo City coming from the Bulldogs. So I don't know if North Catholic uh, watched that game or was able to watch that game and see uh, see that kind, of, that kind of play going on. I know some people think it's a little toxic. Others think it's a completely valid part of the game. Um, but we're probably going to see a lot of demos. So um, so hopefully they can I, handle that kind of stress too. <laughs> I think the demos are the, the best way to pull together a team. But as you said, with the two SSLs on the other team, I think that that's going to cause a lot of problems for this one SSL team because North Catholic with two SSLs, even if they haven't played prof semi-professionally together, they're going to have good chemistry just having been at the same rank. They're going to know each other's play style because they've played with people like that before. And even with the lack of familiarity, the, just the demos, like you said, though, those could be those could be important. If you can dodge them, it'll put the other people out of position. It'll be very beneficial. But if they do land the demos, it's going to be it's going to play to their favor very well. Yeah, and that's that's one of the things we were talking about before we even went live is what are we going to see from Edmund to get over this mechanical difference? Because um, I was relating a little anecdote from my high school 
um, esports season this past year. Uh, I've got a pretty decent Rocket League team. We've got uh, a Grand Champ 2, a Grand Champ 1, and a Champ 3. Um, and, you know, they got 2v3 by a team uh, with an SSL and a Plat, right? So that's just mechanical difference right there. Like, that guy styled on my team the entire time. Um, now, we know that Edmund has their own SSL. Um, I remember y'all talking about the game before this where anytime he had space, you know, it was just game over, right? He could do whatever he wanted to to the other team. Whenever you're going up against a team with, with not just one other SSL but two other SSLs, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be really interesting to see if Edmund can overcome uh, a bit of that mechanical gap and, and use a little bit more teamwork to get this win. Yeah, and just to Absolutely. Echo, yeah, and to echo off of that is the first game of these is where it, it's totally up in the air, right? They know the ranks of these other teams, but they they may not have ever faced off with them. So coming into game one is a total blind. How is this actually going to play out? And we've seen some games that kind of pendulum off of game one. One team just gets looks like they're just completely out of position and the other team is able to, to capitalize on that. And then it completely switches once they kind of get an understanding of that of that style. So it looks like we're about to get loaded up into this one. Um, but we've got a great game ahead of you. We've got the uh, Bulldogs in blue and the Trojans on orange. And this is our kickoff of this playoff match. It's Yonathan, one of the greatest names I've ever seen in Rocket League. Uh, coming in with a nice off the side when putting out on top bar misses, but Yonathan comes in with the rebound, puts us on the Beautiful board. Passing, the Trojans. Great positioning on that one, that rebound coming off the top bar. So early goal, eight seconds in. Let's see if Bulldogs can respond in kind as dead ball goes to the side. Our first demo of the game at one second, sending that across into the corner, trying to find something for their teammate to pick up. G-Man, that's the SSL for the Bulldogs, trying to get this one cleared. A nice pass to the center, but Yonathan takes it over. Monsta putting the drive back into play as Trojan send that right back into the Bulldog territory in a great boom. Uh, midfield right there to stop that drive. So looks like the Bulldogs are on the press right now as Messi sends this one back. Monster traps the ball, sends it inside, sends it back over there. Jonathan up in the air, bad play. Monster comes and capitalizes off it. All three in the middle. Looks like Logan Lim is going to try and pick this one up. We can't get it in the middle. G-Man on the attack. A nice shot, but blocked by Messi. Nice demo response from Bulldogs and responded again from Jonathan. So we've already seen, I think, four demos in this game. Logan Lim up in the air, blocked that one down. We got almost all three Bulldogs in the corner right now. Uh, not, not the greatest position you want. You got to get out of there so they can, they can make a play. Nice and clear from Monsta going back into the territory of the Trojans. And let's see if maybe Logan Lim can start something here. High and up off the back wall. Logan Lim to get their own rebound. Shot on goal just off the top bar. Not able to get in. Trying to get this ball out of here. Monster dropping it down. Where is G-Man in the back? Looked like he wanted to pick that one up, but couldn't make it. G-Man sends it over inside. Monster decides to back off. 1v1, Logan Lim versus Trojans up in the air. A lot of pressure. What are you what are you two seeing in this game as we hit the uh, two-minute mark? It's been a lot it's of great really rotations. Everyone's pushing up on the walls, the backboards. Everyone's covering each other's backs. And a lot of bumps and demos so far. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, my, my biggest complaint right now with the Bulldogs is just that whole sequence. They had a lot of pressure going. Let's see if they can say that. Yeah, G-Man gets it. Um, they had a lot of pressure going right there, but it felt like every single shot they took was just one teammate takes the shot, rotates off. Another teammate takes the shot, rotates off. Another teammate takes the shot, rotates off. Nobody was really setting anything up. Great save by Monster right there. Um, and that's going to be one of the things that I'm really interested to see, especially playing against a team that does have the two SSLs that are going to be able to rotate so well and are going to be able to defend super easily. Um, really like to see them try and set something up rather than just take these different shots on goal. Yeah, and the interesting thing here is there's only been one one goal this game as we got a shot on goal, just barely blocked. A uh, great attempt by Monster, but that's kind of like what you're seeing. That first goal that Yonathan pulled in was off of a rebound with great positioning. And it's going to be interesting to see if the Bulldogs can do something like that too. They've got the space here as Yonathan goes up on that ball. It's still in Trojan territory. And it looks like Logan Lim's up on that one. Uh, and Logan Lim's now going back on defense with a stop on the tail side as G-Man comes and picks that one up and brings it around for an attack. But 
it stopped by Yonathan. Monster Greywood up in the air, doing a little trick, trying to get a pass to G-Man. G-Man up in the air as well, but not enough power. And it is blocked, but another shot on goal by Logan Lim. So this is maybe that positioning we were talking about, uh, trying to get those rebounds, keep those shots on goal. Up in the air. I'm curious to see uh, possession time, if we could ever get that in Rocket League, to see who, who's who's dominating this. It feels really back in the wood at this point. Yeah, for sure. It really feels like that that first 14 seconds of the game might honestly decide it. Uh, since then, it's been very, very heavily back and forth um, with these teams. And like some really great defense. Like I said, getting those. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I said, making these these pretty fluid rotations and, and defending the other team attacks pretty effortlessly. Um, I mean, we're a minute left and have not had a goal over since the first 14 seconds. So. Yeah, it seems a lot like they're you definitely used to playing against a larger skill deficit. And now that they're trying to play against people of the same rank, their passes just aren't fast enough that you get past them. So they're kind of stuck in this just back and forth. No one's holding possession, they're kind of unfortunately giving it away on unintentionally. Yeah, as we see the 30 second timer comes up, Jonathan trying to drop this ball down for Messi, but blocked by Monsta. And Monsta takes the dribble up, sitting in the center, and Logan Lim puts this one into the corner. Anyone can get this ball in the front. That's going to be another positioning play by the Trojans to block that. They're playing with that one defense back. Each time as G-Man gets a shot on goal, no one's there to pick up the rebound. This one's dropping down. Can they get it off? Yes, they can block it as almost going into the great spot for Jonathan. But Logan then blocks it. So looks like unable to catch up. North Catholic is going to take the first game. Uh, and that seemed incredibly even. That was a yeah, very I mean, close well fought game. Yeah, I mean, it, like I was saying earlier, besides the goal in the first 14 seconds, I mean, it was dead even there for the vast majority of the game. Um, so, I don't know. Um, we talked a little bit earlier, literally just a few seconds ago, about how um, it felt like uh, these teams are probably a little used to playing against um, a bigger skill disparity, and so their passes weren't quite um, fast enough to get around the other team's defense. But it kind of looked like that on both sides, except for that very first 14-second goal. Um, but good news is, this is a best of seven, so we got a long time uh, for these teams to feel each other out, uh, potentially warm up to that, that higher speed of game. Yeah, as we get into this, and just for reference, Jonathan and Messi are the SSLs for North Catholic. So, uh, but it, it's hard to—it's been hard to tell who is at the high rank. Everyone's been playing at such such high ranks in this. Uh, as we get another demo, straight up the bat, G-Man, uh, under 10 seconds, and I think what we might see is that pendulum swing as Bulldogs know what to do against uh, this North Catholic team, and that is you just don't let them get home. And if they can do that, then they can buy themselves some time. As Messi gets a shot up on goal, as Logan Lim puts it off to the side. Not a lot of power on that clear as Monster pulls it in. Uh, bumped in the air in one second. Monster still taking this drive up. G-Man following behind, trying to maybe reposition for a... Almost connecting for a rebound shot. Logan Lim sends it into Messi. Messi passes it to Jonathan. Pops it over both G-Man in the air to block that one, though. Great read. Way to stay patient from G-Man. At one second on the drive again. Almost able to connect. But the ball is on the drive from Logan Lim now, and a lot more pressure from the Bulldogs this time. As Jonathan clears it to G-Man, G-Man slowly puts it up in the air, lets it go past, back on the drive with Logan Lim, off to the sidewall, trying to get a rebound goal there. Uh, Monsta off the sidewall, is anyone in the center to pick that one up? They're not. G-Man a little bit too far back, but able to block that shot too. Another demo, I think that brings us to seven for this series. As Monsta challenges Messi, and Messi gets past, but Logan Lim's there to get that one cleared. Another challenge in the corner. Monsta taking this one up at one second with the block, since over to the side, not the kind of clear you want. Logan Lim misses, G-Man picks it up. A little bump there, and we might get a nice goal. Shot on goal from Logan Lim, but blocked by two of the Trojan defenders. So, a little bit of a change only in the, score, in the scoreboard for this game, but it seems just like the first one. Yeah, it's a very similar game, especially considering how much of last game was so back and forth. Um, you know, and Sir Loco brought up something earlier, which is just that with that skill disparity, maybe they're used to being able to take it a little slower and still style on their opponents. Um, 
and, and they're just not quite fast enough to get past each other. And I think, uh, you know, Monsta had a really, was really indicative of this earlier. He took a ball all the way down the sidewall and tried to get a pass off that just was slow, right? And that's what it feels like. Everything is just super slow. And so the few times that they have been fast enough to potentially get past the defense. Oh, and there Whoa. we go, an open goal. There we go. There Looked we go. Like that's an one. center. Yeah, I got that Jonathan centering it, and then uh, at one second doesn't challenge and just tries to turn around and unfortunately gets that bump onto his teammate. Um, and a, a nice little opening for the Bulldogs there. Yeah, that was an unfortunate uh, clear that just became a, a great pass to the center. And it looked like both of those Trojan players were rotating into the other corner, anticipating maybe the ball going a little bit further down the field. So that just left their momentum going in the wrong direction. We'll see if the Bulldogs can can try and capitalize this and try and get another goal to secure. Or is this going to make the Trojans just work that much harder to tie this one up? Is it one second since it down to Monsta with a timely demo to help uh, the Bulldogs in this defense here? Logan Lemon to try and clear. But a soft clear, like you said, not a lot of power in these shots. And I wonder if, you know, just to kind of call the user logo at this high level of play, do you think that they all these players just have such good boost management that they're just starving everyone for boost they just don't have the speed. I think that there is definitely a lot of boost starting going on. Oh wow. That was a beautiful pass right off the ceiling. Yeah. He made just right. a little step faster than the defense. Yeah. Right down middle. Just a little bit faster than that one second. But yeah, uh, most of this does come from boost management I would say. They were, they have very good boost management, but it doesn't matter if you if you don't have any boost to manage, you're not going to be able to actually have speed. But a lot of their shots that don't seem to have a lot of power, it does seem like they're just trying to pass it around instead of shoot directly. So that might be why they're having weaker shots. But at the same time, this speed of play is definitely different than what they have been having previously in this tournament. So they're still trying to adapt to that faster speed of play and needing to get more power out of these shots. Yeah, the other thing we haven't necessarily seen is a lot of style. Uh, not a lot of air. Airtime as a shot goes in from Yonathan. Uh, maybe on that speed, I'd be curious to see if G-Man had any boost to get in there on that defense. But that, I just said not a lot of style. But that was a great dribble from Yonathan as G-Man is boosting in but not fast enough. Um, but we haven't seen a lot of you know wall-to-air dribbles. Um, we've seen really good deflections and reads. Um, but I wonder if having three SSLs and kind of champs in this the pass play is actually the play. And like we said, they, they look like they're trying to make plays and not be playmakers. Um, and maybe that's what, what's slowing this game down to us is, is they're just trying to get the ball in a good spot to make a shot, but the defense is so good on both of these teams that they can't actually get it through. Absolutely. There's so many players spending a lot of their time on the walls and just shutting down any play that could be happening. If you look on the backboard, someone puts it up for like backboard pass and immediately it's shut down from someone being right there. Just like that, as G-Man comes in to stop that passing drive from the Trojans. 30 seconds left. This game's been going a lot faster time-wise, it feels like, uh, as the Trojans need to get one more on the board to try and get to overtime, as Jonathan did a great uh, fast aerial to get up there to put the ball in the center, challenging G-Man. It's sitting in the middle, and it goes in for Messi with three seconds left. <laughs> this play yeah, from I'm Jonathan gonna... is just so good. <laughs> Yeah, Yonathan said, if we're not making any openings, I'll, I'll do it all by myself right here. And he just kind of um, creates that opportunity on his own and, and made it pretty much impossible for his team not to score. Yeah, the read off of the, the fast aerial into the corner, passing slightly to themselves and then pulling around, able to get through both Bulldog defenders. Um, you know, some of that technicality on display there from, uh, from Yonathan and SSL. Uh, so that brings us to our first overtime in game two. Big deal here as Monsta challenges Yonathan, uh, but is not able to go further. Messi up off the top ceiling. G-Man trying to trap that one and bring it to the side, and he does. So Monsta on the drive again, gets just past, trying to dribble up, but Yonathan gets the read, jumps straight over and into it. Off the top wall, and that's gonna go in for Man. Yonathan. Yonathan's getting crazy angles with all of these. He's putting it in all the right positions. He's following up every single one of them. That angle is sister. So coming in clutch 
for North Catholic at the end of the last three seconds of game two and then sealing it down on the overtime to get them into game three. Yonathan, uh, not the most points, but definitely the, the, the player in that game that, that made it happen. Absolutely. But it uh, looks like we lose G-Man. Uh, G-Man might be changing cars. Ah. You never know. That would make sense. Yes. <laughs> so, um, what's your take? My, my initial take on this is obviously the Bulldogs can do it. They they can they can go toe to toe, tire to tire with this team. Um, what do you think they need to change up, if anything? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. a very good question because, like you said, this is these are very close matches. Everything is just right at the tip of the nail. It's just so close. That I, it's hard to find anything that could put one team over the other. Yeah, I, I think th that they need to. Sorry. No, you're good. One of the things I was going to say is just that um, it does feel like, and we've talked about this multiple times, that the Bulldogs clears aren't quite doing it for them. Um, lots of times they'll they'll get a decent touch on the ball, um, but it'll still remain on their side of the pitch, and it just means that that's so much more pressure. Additionally, we talked before the game about you know worrying about giving these other teams uh, whenever you play against a team with a really high rank player, you know you worry about giving them too much space, and it really felt like Jonathan just kind of got that space and created those opportunities himself. Um, you know, we look at Logan Lim in the goal the last time. Um, there was a chance he probably could have been tested against Jonathan, uh, and instead he opted to wait the goal. And whenever you play against somebody uh, such a high rank as that, there's a chance that they're going to style on you, just like Jonathan did with that really, really sharp cut shot. Absolutely. I think that one of their biggest things they need to focus on is just shutting down those plays into the corner. That's where Jonathan seemed to get most of his beautiful centers and his nice shot. So if they can keep that locked down, I think that they can stand a very good chance of putting this back in their favor. Yeah, I agree with both those. I mean, and just staying calm, right? You're down two games, but you know you've got the ability to get points on the board and to, uh, and to possibly even take it away as they were up so long in game two. Uh, it's, just, it's just staying calm, you know? Act like it's still 0-0, just win games. As the first minute ticks down, we are still at 0-0, just like uh, Last game, nobody's getting early goals. Messi with the clear, sending it all the way down to the other side. G-Man challenging that one, but they can't get out of the corner just yet as Monster tries to Gets it past the half field mark. Is anyone here to catch this pass that didn't look like they were able to make a play there? And it was able to be cleared as Messi comes on the drive and G-Man stalls that one out. So the Bulldogs are once again on the attack here. G-Man in the corner, wrapping it around. one. Second is able to stop it, but not enough power to clear it off the top bar. G-Man in the corner, maybe trying to make a play. Logan Lim stops this one and sends it to the sidewall, but Messi is there. The question is, where is Jonathan? Jonathan is in the back with a nice shove up into the corner, but G-Man takes it away. And two minutes into this game with a push to the center. You know, as I just see that now, it really looks like the Trojans trying to capitalize on having someone in that goal spot as much as possible. Um, the Bulldogs are playing pretty aggressive, and it looks like the Trojans, when any time the ball comes back, someone rotates back to be in that goal. We might see this here as G-Man takes a shot on goal, and it's missed, but we just saw both two Trojans players rotating into that goal. They seem to be having two people on defense for each shot, and that is probably what's shutting down some of this stuff. As a shot gets put onto the side, can Monster put one in the corner? Messi with the hop to stop that. Putting it into the center, G-Man off the top bar, and Yonathan able to stop that one as well. Logan Lim trying to rotate this one in. Very slow ball, a lot of traffic over by the side. Monster misses the challenge. G-Man misses the challenge. Logan Lim gets demoed, great demo to open up the goal, but no one is there to take that pass in. And almost got a goal in there. Great drive from the Trojans. But the Bulldogs were able to stay 0-0 on that. So great job getting back from the Bulldogs to keep this at a tight game. Yeah, absolutely, and I think uh, Messi gave us a great example of um, one of the reasons why a lot of these high school teams do play so slow, even despite having 
um, high ranking and, and mechanically gifted players. Uh, I mean, Messi just brought a fantastic uh, and very quick pass, and unfortunately his teammates just weren't quite there to follow up. Um, and that always feels a little bad, right? Uh, really, really great pass, but not quite quick enough uh, on the teammates' uptake to get there, and it looks like. Ooh. Not a ton of fun in this game, that's for sure. That's what it is. But a great challenge from Monsta. Uh, unfortunately, it just bounces off the top bar and back in. So you need to seen, see it. But... I've seen some changes in this game that I was hoping to be able to see in, at some point in the series. I noticed in the first few games, G-Man was spending a lot of time in goal on defense. And that felt like a bit of a waste because he might possibly be one of their biggest assets on the team. But this time I'm seeing him upfield a lot more. So that did unfortunately leave the goal a bit more open. That one time that goal went in. So yeah, well, uh, it's a nice balance. And that was something I was thinking about earlier. Um, whenever you do have uh, a, a team like this, like the Bulldogs, where you do have one player who um, is an SSL and, and you know very mechanically gifted. Not to say the other players aren't, but um, to get to SSL, you know you, you've got to be pretty legit. Oh look at that! Look at that! Look at that! It's funny, uh, Yonathan um, also uh, plays men's volleyball. Men's volleyball. So as a volleyball coach, uh, one of the things that we focus on anytime that we have uh, a team where uh, you know we know where we, we know somebody is a very skilled outside hitter, a very skilled middle, um, your game plan is a, is essentially you know weaponize them as much as possible. What do I need to do to make sure that that player gets as many attacks as possible? And like you said, it's nice seeing G-Man step up and try and get the top attacks. Because I do think that that's one of the things that the Bulldogs really need to capitalize on in order to convert in a lot of these scoring opportunities. You have a very skilled player, you know, enable him as much as possible. He's probably going to be one of the, the faster players on the field um, and going to give you the best shot at scoring and keeping these games close. Yeah, and I wonder if some of that... Uh, that pullback defense was to put, you know, their highest level player on the defense to try and defend and block these shots from the two SSLs. Um, but we'll see as we go into game four. I mean, this is the potential, you know, series ender for North Catholic to to move on if uh, if they're just going to pull out of the, all the stops and play aggressive and and send G-Man up into the front. Um, We'll have to see. I mean, it's it's a really important game, and uh, I don't think I don't think there's really anything to change. You know, like we've mentioned uh, for these teams, other than just stay calm and just and just keep at it, and keep going. Um, so here we get started. Some bad chop. Sorry, stream. Hopefully that'll fix itself out. Uh, so we've got an aggressive start. Now we're fixed. All right. So Jonathan, one one second up on the attack. Thirty seconds in. Logan Lim's going to send this one forward. Uh, let's see if there's a challenge from G-Man coming on the sidewall, up into the wall, trying to get the pinch. Not able to grab it. Jonathan off the top. A little pass from G-Man to Monster. A little miscommunication maybe as they get a little bit tangled up. Logan oh, Lim with a shot go. on goal, and that's going to go in. Oh, what a that was a dangerous little, little play. I mean, for being on, on the offense, not so much, but um, wow. Yeah, and, and that's exactly what we've been talking about with this fast gameplay. That's the fastest goal that we've had this entire series. Straight fast. fast. Very quick pass, pass and play, staying just ahead of the defense. Um, but that's what needs to happen if you want to score in a team with two SSLs. It does seem like they might be getting, letting the pressure get the best of them here. They are starting to bunch up a lot. Edmund, Edmund High School, they are flying a lot faster, but sometimes I've noticed that's causing them to bunch up. But at the same time, it is what allowed that goal to happen. And the two of them were there at the ball. They didn't know which one of them was about to shoot. Yeah, and, and what we haven't really seen is having someone in center for the Bulldogs to pick up, whether it's a pass or a rebound. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it could go both ways as Monster gets oh, one in the goal too, and right just, you know, that, that long shot view uh, just showed that. G-Man up in the air, deflecting. Messi sends this one past straight to Monster, who was just in the right place at the right time. So if they can 
they can keep this going, if they can keep someone in the top of the key, where so many rebounds have been, and ch maybe change up their rotations, uh, they should have a, a much better time this game getting those shots on goal. Because every single shot they take is going to put the Trojans out of position. Um, and if they can just you know, get a couple more shots each time, they'll get one through. And almost see another one on from G Man. Jonathan is there to stop that. And G Man takes out Jonathan. Messi putting a pass up against the top. Uh, taken from G-Man on the drive. Ooh, just over. Jonathan great shot, G -Man. great play. This is exactly what we needed to start seeing when we start turning this around. They're starting to connect the speed with the team plays, and that's starting to really put them past. They're even getting, they're even pulling the corners down against Jonathan now, and that's that's a big change. Yeah, and that, I mean, that was some of the most technical, you know, flying we've seen uh, as far as intentional direction. G-Man came all the way from the back of his own goal to make that play. Um, just having the confidence to know that you can get all the way back there. I mean, down by three at three minutes isn't a lot in, uh, in a game like this, especially in Rocket League. The, the talent we're seeing as Monster goes up in the air, doing some spins and tricks, and it's oh. almost going to go in, but not quite able. Great attempt from Monster. I mean, I, this is a totally different team. It's almost as if the Bulldogs have just... Uh, flip the switch or something. Yeah, I don't they're know. Playing incredibly aggressive this game. Yeah, they're playing super aggressive this game, uh, but one of the things that's helping them out a lot is, like we were talking about, or, or I think it was Sir Luca that brought it up, um, maybe being, you know, one match away from moving on does have North Catholic a little jittery because um, we've seen a few open goals get missed in this game. I think I counted three, uh, and not necessarily open, but um, shots where, you know, they should have had. Uh, some kind of attempt at a goal, and wow. Yeah, they're, they're holding up against the pressure. Yeah, look at this. They're not falling apart. They're another long Even shot. Even though this is potentially their last game, they are holding it together. Yeah. Oh, man. This is, uh, wow, this is the most goals scored so far, I think, by one team in the series. Um, it's and almost the most, most goals scored. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> uh, um, what was it? It was uh, two games ago we had our 3-2 overtime uh, win for North Catholic. Yeah, now we have a 4-0 lead um, in this elimination game. And there's and still two like minutes left. There's plenty of time for changes to happen, but four Absolutely. points is a, it's a healthy lead. Very Hopefully healthy they can lead. Up. Especially with the way that they've been playing, with the Bulldogs have been playing so far. I mean, they have not really uh, let anything through in the few moments that they have had when Catholic haven't quite been able to capitalize. So um, this is great. I was just talking before this game started or just thinking about before this game started. Um, so you see a potential goal here. Um, I was just thinking to myself, it's a shame that this uh, has the potential to be a sweep for North Catholic because these games were incredibly close, right? First game, 1-0 victory. That one goal was scored in the first 16 seconds. Uh, the game after that, a 3-2 victory in overtime for North Catholic. The game after that, uh, I can't quite remember, was it a 2-0 victory for North Catholic? Uh, yeah, game three? Yeah. Not sure. Um, and so it was, you know, I was a little disappointed because I didn't think the score correctly showed how close the games were. Right, uh, this didn't need to be a 4-0, or I wish it hadn't been a 4-0. And look, now it's not. The Bulldogs have brought it back, um, and they are playing super well as North Catholic do get uh, a goal with 37 seconds remaining. Yeah, they're getting one on the board here. 30 seconds left. Uh, I apologize for everybody on the stream. We're getting some, some frames, so too much action on the field. Looks like. Um, and we'll turn the game down, the game sound down just to get this game as well. 30 seconds left to go, a bouncer just off the top bar. Uh, so, not able to make that one happen, but Bulldogs have decided to really turn it on for this one, and they are looking to go to, to the next game uh, and keep this series alive, which is exactly what they needed to do, I mean, because they have no other choice. So. Just a few seconds left to bring this one down, and Logan Lim is still on the drive and says, I just want another goal to show him we can do it, and puts one in with two seconds left. Just to make sure that there's not going to be a three-second comeback. He's locking it in, making sure. <laughs> I mean, you never know. Uh, Rocket League, a lot, a lot can happen in Rocket League. 
Yeah. Pick up both of them. Dangerous for any team. There you go, the Bulldogs take it. Adding one to... Sounds everybody. Thanks for st sticking with us. <laughs> All right. So you know, just like that, it gets interesting. Um, extremely interesting. Very different gameplay from both of these teams in that one. Um, I mean, the Bulldogs just turned it on full fire. And I think both of you had mentioned this: how being on the edge of that last game can really change both teams you know north catholic just went three games straight and the nerves can be even greater when you know that you've only got one game left and it, it can really stall you out absolutely we saw bulldogs make make the adaptations that they needed there they changed what they needed to but let's see if we if north catholic can do the same or if bulldogs are going to hold it together and keep the lead keep the momentum keep it rolling yeah they know they can do it and they know they can do it well um they put up a lot on that on that last game. Uh, they know, I mean, that's a huge confidence boost to say, you know what, those first three games, they don't matter. We know what we can do. Uh, we can ride this one out. And, you know, maybe coming back to that amateur play of, uh, of G, you know, being able to, to, to withstand a long series like this, you know, it's not a shutout. So so we'll see if, if that's going to come into play as a Logan Lim takes one right off the bat. Wow, seven seconds in. I didn't think we were going to get a goal much quicker uh, in a game in the 14 seconds we had in the very first game. And, and Bulldogs said, you know what? We don't want to be on the receiving end of that one. So they score one at seven. In the, in the last <laughs> no, game they played. Five. Yeah, that's nuts. Well, in the last series they played before this, uh, they got like a two-second game, a two-second goal, very early goals. And um, in those early goals, which is what we saw in the first game of the series, they really changed the pace. You're immediately down. You have to get two goals now. And all of a sudden, the whole game is now in the Bulldogs' favor to just to just keep the brakes, you know, on and keep them up. Uh, so we'll see what can happen here if the Bulldogs can keep this momentum going as Jonathan is looking to maybe catch a pass. Uh, rotating to the back. Up in the front, we've got G-Man clearing this ball into the side. With one at one second is demoing that. So up in the air, Messi passing one down, dropping it down. Pass. And anyone block this ball, G-Man is, I mean, a lot of pressure this time around. So kind of the opposite of what we said. It looks like a lot of pressure being put by the Trojans um, answering that early goal. Great pass in the middle, but no one was able to connect on it. Yeah, Demon was able to catch up to it, though, and turned it right back around. That was a close one, though. That could have been a nice breakaway. Oof. Oof. Off the top bar, bouncer. We've seen that a couple times, and it's gone in, as uh, the Trojans are in a great position here to get something going. Jonathan cutting in, but G-Man able to stop that, and we're getting a dribble on, and they're able to get past the notch as G-Man tries but a great defensive play from the Trojans. The shot goes wide and not in, but Logan Lim is able to connect we after go. all with the rebound. Added. Two goals, two shots from Logan Lim in this game. Uh, it looks like Messi went for the save and then unfortunately went right into Jonathan, who put it right back in. You know, that was very similar to the first game, or the first goal that Logan got very early on. Uh, just staying there for that rebound and, uh, you know, too many cars uh -oh. in the goal. G-Man with the block. <laughs> Too many cars in the goal can create those pinball, you know, ping pong moments where the ball ends yeah. up going back in. Absolutely, especially when they when they double commit like that. Um, and that's one of the worst feelings in Rocket League. You know, nobody wants to leave the goal open as whoop, there's Monster. Monster shows up. Beautiful pass to mid. Look at that. Look at this. Pass right with the G-Man and right to mid disassembled fast. their entire defense and fast enough that there was nobody there uh, to help save that ball yeah so much more speed in this game too absolutely uh, and, and g-man with the demo off the start logan Lim up in the air a nice block from messi staying on the top wall or the side wall uh sending it back 
into midfield. But I have an idea that someone is up in the air to challenge. They are one second sending this one forward. Monster popping it back. We'll see if Bulldogs are able to take a drive on here as G-Man's up in the air, feathering that boost, coming back style. down. The defense is there. The style, the style is coming out to play. Jonathan with the dribble popped up. G-Man cutting around. Went from shadow defense to straight defense and able to block that one. Now up in the air. Styling, styling, up in the air, but blocked from Yonathan. So a good read and way to stay patient. I think G-Man was trying to get a flip reset off of that, off the wheels, but not able to get anything there. Uh, Yonathan here up in the corner, battling with Logan Lim, pushing off the side, not able to get into position. Now Monsta's here to pressure, sending a pass back. The bump game is on here. It looks like the Bulldogs are trying to just keep Yonathan out of position to keep this lead of 3-0 alive. Messi. Passing to the corner, but no one's up there right now. G-Man traps it, but sends it slowly back into the center. And this is definitely what Trojans want, as Messi's able to pick up on that. Uh, that's, that's, the SSL, that's the SSL as a player right there. If it goes up on the backboard and you're not able to stop it, it's going in. Absolutely, and, and, and that's it's great to see this timing at 135, right? Um, any later in the game and that 3-0 lead starts to feel very scary, but um, I mean, we all play Rocket League. You know how fast some of these these goals can be scored. Um, they got plenty of time left to try and cut this and make it to overtime. Or even. Oh, yeah. With just with a minute and a half, uh, you know, 45 seconds for goals just to get to overtime, uh, I think, you know, the Trojans have taken an overtime already, so they probably feel maybe they can do that again. Um, but it's, it's definitely a much nicer feeling with just being two down. But we're about to hit the minute mark and the pressure is about to be on again as Messi wraps around the corner and no one's there, but Monsta hidden behind the ball is able to save that one. The minute mark is in and the Trojans are really gonna have to put the pressure on this one. Uh, Yonathan knocking Logan Lim out to try and get some breathing room with a shot on goal, but the defense is there. Logan up into the corner, getting the clear out off the wall. 45 seconds to go, trapped by Messi, but nobody's there to pick it up. Uh, uh, take that back, at one second, flies in. And this last 30 seconds is gonna be huge for the Trojans if they can get something in with a great pass into the center. Bulldogs not able to pick that one up. So Messi's gonna try and get something here. Nice play off the wall, a nice stall. Yonathan is gonna be coming up around to clear it. Put it around to the center. Can't see smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Timing is everything. So one second with shot on goal. Anyone there to pick it up? Yonathan sending it into the air. Messi's up there. Not enough power with a pop. G-Man clears it. And that's going to drop right at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. At some point. Bulldogs holding on. You can see their defenders. confidence coming back after that, winning that fourth game. Absolutely. They know there's um, a chance, and they're willing to hold on to it. Yeah, for sure. So I wanted to ask you guys something. Um, one of the big, uh, I think, turning points in this, in this series has been, um, first of all, how aggressive the Bulldogs have been playing and how well that's worked out for them, right? That's two games in a row now where they've scored uh, three or more goals uh, compared to the uh, zero first game, uh, two second game and zero third game. So with that being said, um, do you think it is this increased offense that's helping them out so much and allowing them to run away with these games? Um, or is it the pressure that they're now adding, uh, kind of limiting how well North Catholic is being able to score as well? Um, how well they're able to play? Uh, I don't know, what do you think has changed? Or what's, what's the big change? be honest i think that one of the biggest changes is definitely the g-man is out in the field i think that he's starting to i'm seeing a lot of what he probably does in his semi-pro team he's definitely starting to play more with the team he's having more trust in his teammates more confidence in all of them and that's allowing them to apply a lot more pressure be a lot more aggressive and he's still able to make the saves in these places like that yeah we just had it looks like we just had a rocket league bug uh restarting our series um but it looks like we do know the Trojans are up three games to two in this series. So the Bulldogs are still trying to, to eke out a long stretch win here, trying to get the next two games to go on. Uh, if they can win this one, we'll go to our final game. So just a, just a heads up if you're watching, just tuning in. Uh, but we, this is game six, so <laughs> it's been a long one. <laughs> 
It's been very exciting uh, as G-Man is up in the air blocking this one off. Monster Braywood trying to get a clear there as well. Yonathan putting one up on the top bar and then trying to get their own pass but not able to make it messy with the attempt. But Monster is able to stay there on defense as well. And it looks like the Trojans are answering in kind with a lot of pressure in this game. Uh, trying to, to stop this just you know, two game run uh, by the Bulldogs with a shot on goal from Messi and it just screams past both defenders. Once again, it looks like they gave possession off the Yonathan in that corner and that's, that's exactly what they stopped doing at first and now they're, they let it happen one more time and that's the problem. Yeah, they totally. can hold that corner down. Yeah, uh, one thing is important that's important here is, you know, North Catholic, we've seen how many points how many points the Bulldogs have scored in these last two games. So we see how capable they are, um, especially compared to the beginning of the series. So I'd really like to see North Catholic, if they're planning on running away with the series and not letting it uh, go to a game seven, they need to be a little more comfortable and a few more goals in before they can, uh, before I think they have a good chance because the Bulldogs, uh, their pressure in these last few games, just like that, like we just saw, have just been, you know, it's just been so on point lately. Yeah, we've got a great drive here from Yonathan and out Speaking the style, getting that dribble in, popping it up, catching it just ever so slowly, and then able to just wing it into that corner. So hard to defend against, uh, especially when you know they still have another jump um, and probably has a bunch of boost. So tough read, but Yonathan gets one in there, and the Bulldogs are going to have to turn that pressure up that we saw in the last two games to keep this one in as the shot on goal is blocked. Uh, but another shot, so many shots on goal from the Bulldogs to try and break through that defense. Uh, the defensive wall that the Trojans seem to have just put up is just get everybody back in goal. Uh, this one floats by. Yonathan clears it off to the side wall. Logan Lim puts a clear right into the center. G-Man is there to stop it. So this seems kind of like the first couple games where G-Man stays back. Uh, we'll see if they change that up. Messi into the corner. Pass to Monster Braywood. Not slow enough this time around as Yonathan traps it. G-Man is going to fake challenge up off the wall, sending a pass into the center. Logan Lim's up, but Messi is there as well. Is Monster going to challenge this? They are off the side wall with the read. Nice pinch straight to the side wall, and Logan Lim puts it back over. G-Man coming around the side, demoing in the middle, and that's going to open. open it up for Monster. Beautiful what a demo. great demo. Yeah, earlier in, these, in this series, you said that you were looking for a lot of these aerial plays and stuff, but it, I'm noticing a lot of these ground plays are actually what's putting the goals in. The aerial defense seems to be pretty on point, but as soon as someone starts playing around on the ground, everyone seems to get very uncomfortable. Yeah, the dribbles have been huge. Um, and that, that the goals earlier from Yonathan showed, uh, you know, you think, you think the ground or the uh, aerials are really good, because you can get past people, but they're so hard to read those ground dribbles. Um, you, on defense, you, you, you're not sure when do I jump, do I jump. Uh, at least when they're in the air, you know where they are. So we'll see if that plays out um, as Jonathan versus G-Man here in the corner. Messi putting this one up into the corner as well. G-Man gonna clear softly, not enough. They wanna get this ball out here. G-Man up in the air, floating, and that's gonna go in wow. G-Man. And now, I think this is a great example of, you know, what a good player can do in Rocket League. I was just thinking um, to myself about how, you know, we wanted G-Man to play further up. We didn't want him to play as back as he had been. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, being the one scoring the flashy goals. Um, you know, yes, he did not score uh, the first goal of this game for the Bulldogs. But without that, you know, absolutely essential demo on the wall, um, you know, the Bulldogs don't score that first goal. That's a, that's a save that North Catholic has been making all game long. And so, first goal, G-Man getting it done, not necessarily with the shot, but with his clutch demo. Uh, second goal of the game, I mean, that was just very well placed, a very, very fast shot. Uh, and G-Man just kind of doing it all for this Bulldogs team in this last game. And that was the same shot we've seen before. Oh, oh Messi oh, 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 able to man. get it off the deflection, off the fender in the corner there. So good, good pass from Yonathan. Oh, actually, and that was just monster. beautiful absolutely. placement. Absolutely. Oh yeah, that's absolutely beautiful placement. Right. Couple pixels the, off. The absolute yeah. farthest left you can put that goal in, uh, knowing that both of the Bulldogs players in position to defend that goal were on the right side, um, and just you know, absolutely clutch placement there. 
Now with 45 seconds left, that's the goal the Trojans really needed to help push the pressure on the Bulldogs. Uh, as G-Man is up in the air, G-Man is just getting slammed in the back and out of out of position as Yonathan is able to capitalize on that and get another one on the board with 30 seconds left. It's hard to see in this replay, but G-Man was just getting pummeled back there and not able to get back into position. So the speed on that one on that rebound, really able to to, to get Yonathan into position. With 30 seconds left, down by two, the Bulldogs have to make a couple plays here. Logan Lim off the wall, putting this one into the center. G-Man's gonna pick it up, slowly put it in the corner. One second is there. Challenged by Monsta, rolling it into the side. Yonathan clears it to the side as well, trying to just buy some time to get this timer to tick down and get this ball on the ground. Messi up in the air, bounces off of Logan. G-Man, Monsta, Logan, everyone's in the corner there, and Messi takes advantage of, of the traffic and puts another one in, bringing it to five, two on this potential series ender game for the Trojans. So two seconds left, we're gonna get a kickoff, and that ball is gonna hit the ground. And when it does, that's gonna <laughs> It's the ground and the inability to get the ball on the ground. It's just amazing. <laughs> Still up in the air as Yonathan is up there as well. It's the monster up in the air. And there that's going to do it. There it is. A beautiful series. That was very well fought. That was an incredibly close series between both teams. Yeah, absolutely. agreed. So if you're just joining us, the bug is wrong. North Catholic has taken four of these games to the Bulldogs too, but the Bulldogs, wow. I mean, coming back after a three and O run, um, really putting on the heat and the speed, two unbelievable teams. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. They were not um, going down without a fight. No. no, and it is so fun to watch good players play Rocket League, <laughs> right? I I'm just thinking of um, all, the, the sh all the, the super smooth touches that we had from uh, you know, Messi, Jonathan, and G-Man, as well as their teammates uh, over the course of the series. Um, and just, you know, how many great shots that we saw pulled off. The the skill is just on another level when you see these high-level players play against each other. Well, and when and what's, what's going to be crazy is when you tell everyone that uh, the Bulldogs is a, is a team of sophomores. Absolutely. So they've got two more years in uh, and several seasons to keep this going. Uh, North Catholic is, uh, you know, two seniors and a sophomore. So the two seniors are playing for, they're playing for everything. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they've graduated uh, and they are just running this to just end on the highest note possible in their high school Rocket League careers. And they are putting it on for sure. Um, oh, welcome play versus. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got special guests. Um we just ended the series. Not sure how long you've been hanging out with us, um, but but welcome, and we will have recordings of this. Yes, um, but yeah, I mean both teams. I mean I'm really excited to see what's going to come out of the Bulldogs in the next couple of years because we're talking SSL and Grand Champs now. It's only a matter of time, right? And, and that's the really really cool part about these high school teams. Um, with, with sophomores, they have two years of, of school left. Um, hopefully, you know, they're all playing with each other as much as possible. Uh, and if G-Man, you know, really wants to take this high school team to the next level, um, he seems like the perfect mentor, right? Already SSL is a sophomore in high school, plays for a semi-pro team. Um, we see the skill there for Braywood and Logan Lim. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what level they can come up to uh not just in the next two years, but in the next year. And we, I'm sure we'll see them uh, again in the Play Versus Cup because they're just an excellent team. And they're young. I believe... Very... Oh, no. Yes, I think Edmund is the first year as well for their team. Yep. Uh, both of these are their first time in uh, eSports, if I, if I understand, um, which is just incredible. I mean, coming in screaming. So, well... Thank you to uh, everyone who, who hung out with us. Uh, I am Cooper Phoenix, got Sir Loco here, uh, English teacher, great coaches from around the country. Um, and thanks everyone for showing up. And it's been super fun. 
And I'm glad we were able to do it again. <laughs> Always Absolutely. on call to cast. <laughs> Always fun to watch some good high school teams duke it out. Absolutely. We will let everyone know next time we're here. Uh, you can always catch some great Rocket League on the Griffins channel. Uh, subscribe because there will be super awesome stuff happening next year for sure. And continue watching the Cup because the best, literally the best high school esports athletes are competing right now. Uh, and these kids are in the top, you know, 1% and 2% of the country. So catch the games if you can. Um, and we'll see you next time. Absolutely.